I've suffered with depression, with anxiety, um, mood disorders, PMDD, which is um, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. All these things that I was put on pills for and they didn't, they were never healed. So I had to take things into my own hands. Another thing that happened to me that really led me towards more self-healing, this was very um, formative for me. When I was 13, I got Bell's palsy. So half of my face froze and uh, was paralyzed and I was rushed to emergency and they put me on steroids. And for six months, nothing nothing changed. My face mm. was frozen. Wow. The steroids didn't do anything to help me. Kids were really mean in middle school. <laughs> Lots yeah. of name calling and mm. it was a hard time for yeah. sure. Um, my face started moving again slowly after six months or after a year or so, but it never went back That's to a normal. Long time. Yeah. Yeah. Especially as a young, mm-hmm. as a, you know, you're becoming a teenager, hormones, everything's changing and it was hard, but I think that the worst part of it was just like I was put on these really crazy meds and it didn't help me. Mm -hmm. And then when I was 26, 13 years later, I got Bell's palsy again. I was already on YouTube. I I think I saw. I saw it come back. Yeah, it came back and I did videos with my face frozen. Wow, yeah. So that that was a big deal for me because it's like, you know, you have this thing. People look at you as this way and um, sometimes having a physical appearance be a certain way gives you a lot of credibility. Mm -hmm. And I saw that and I was like, how can I put my face on camera ever again? I'm actually going to do that because I'm afraid of this. Mm -hmm. So I did. I recorded myself half frozen, whatever. I have a few videos on that. And that's when my self-healing journey really deepened because I went to acupuncture. Mm -hmm. And I worked with this amazing acupuncturist. I still go to him. I'm in love with him. Dr. Jung, you're the best. (laughs) And... um, he healed me in two weeks. Wow. And that went hand in hand with deep meditation, visualization, visualizing the parts of my face getting unstuck, realizing, sorry, I hit the mic, realizing that um, that there is always an energetic cause for a physical stagnation, a dis-ease, something that's happening on the physical and emotional plane. Yes. There's always an energetic cause for it. So in that time of my life, I was feeling really stuck in my relationship. I was just feeling suffocated and like I couldn't get out. And that materialized mm-hmm. in my face. So you're saying it's the feeling of yes, stuck. of stuckness. That, exactly. Yes, yeah. So it's kind of like we have these emotions and these feelings and these thoughts. And we have all these different bodies. We don't just have the physical body. There's the auric and the etheric and the, the um, emotional body, the energetic body. And things get stuck. So emotions will get stuck in the emotional body. Energy gets stuck in the energy. If we don't move enough, if we don't do certain things to move around energy. And these things stagnate and they rot. They rot in our energetic field until they become more material. Mm. So they go um, level by level down in density. Yeah. And until they materialize in the physical plane in the form of cancer, mm-hmm. um, something as you know simple as having chronic migraines, chronic pain, all these things originate in an energetic yeah. level. I'm a firm believer in that too. Yeah. I've talked about this topic many times on yeah. my videos and podcasts too. Everything mm-hmm. starts with like the emotional level. Right. It, it starts with energy exactly. and then it becomes physical eventually. And everything is energy. Mm-hmm. And that is why energy healing works yeah because yeah. everything is energy so imagine that we're all these vibratory energetic beings and when we get sick when we get diseases we try to fix them by throwing every physical thing we can at them right mm-hmm. what, what's it called like the kitchen cabinet kitchen sink at them <laughs> you throw whatever yeah. you can at this that's physical but everything is energy why aren't we using energy medicine to mm-hmm. move around energy so that it can phys- physicalize crystallize into healing on this third dimensional plane yeah